Uh, it was this time last year that we were all rooting on Nebraska teacher Hannah Houston on The Voice, and she's going to be performing in Omaha in two days. A great music for one of our favorite causes, Special Olympics of Nebraska. The concert, part of this year's opening ceremony. It sure is. An organization president, Carolyn Chamberlain, and athlete Rachel Mulligan are here to tell us a little bit more about the whole event and the opening ceremony. It's good to see both of you this morning. Thank you. Listen, <laughs> my band opened a few years ago for the opening ceremony. <laughs> now you've upgraded to a, 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 We've moved a, the voice star. I mean, you guys are going big time with this. We're going to get to her in a second, but Carolyn, this really event, it is huge. It's, it's big for the families and for the athletes. Explain why it's so important. It's so important because our athletes have a chance to shine and be the center of focus with rewarding for the work and the training they've done. They get to come and compete um, with peers across the state. And we really want to elevate the quality of what we do. And so bringing in top talent, having a quality experience just adds to the element of why our athletes deserve the same thing as everybody else. And it makes it a great opportunity for the community to get involved. It's a great time to bring your family, to come and be moved and motivated by the opening ceremonies and have a great concert and honor one of our uh, local Nebraskans as well. It'll be a fun night. Opening ceremonies have to open something, so yeah. we've got competitions coming up mm -hmm. as well. What goes on with those, and is the public invited to watch? Yeah, the public's invited to watch all of our competitions. We start off actually ahead of opening on Wednesday with volleyball. Thursday, we're going to be swimming all day. We have our event Thursday night with opening ceremonies. We're going to be doing powerlifting on Friday, roller skating on Friday. We have health screenings all day on Friday. Wow. We have track and field Friday and Saturday. So there's a lot packed into a few days. And the metro area is so great to host this. And the venues are fantastic. And um, all of the folks are so welcoming to us and supportive of our athletes. More fans, the better. Yeah, the athletes are really the centerpiece of all of this. And Rachel, you came in with some bling around your neck, and I see those awards. What, what sports are you going to be competing in? Um, I actually will be competing in track and field this weekend. So I'm actually going to be competing in the mini javelin throw on Friday night. And then Saturday, I will be doing the 800 and the 4 by 100 meter relay team. This is your summer sport, but you've also are a cross country skier. Yes. You competed in Austria? Yes. Tell us about that. Um, Austria was a really great experience. Um, I met a lot of new athletes from around the world. Um, we actually got to trade pens with them. Um, we also, um, we actually got to ski in the Alps, which was like, it was a very breathtaking moment and it was just a really fun time it for was us. an incredible experience for you <laughs> can you hold those medals up because those are two of the medals from austria and if you just hold them st together there and hold them still we'll get a camera shot of those how, how did you win these medals um i actually won them um basically how they um they time trialed us and then they actually did a final race um so you actually improved on each of your time and they actually we we didn't know i actually won the silver medals until like 30 seconds after my race oh, so that's they great. um basically it was just like a huge surprise for me I'm like okay i won a silver medal that's thank you awesome what do you like about competing in the special olympics here in nebraska um i love meeting new athletes um it's a really great experience they actually make you kind of feel like you're a part of a team they don't kind of make you feel like, um, okay, <laughs> you're put on the sidelines. So it's just, it's a really great organization to be a part of. <laughs> Let's jump back to the opening ceremonies because that's a great way for people who, who maybe are curious about the organization, might be interested in maybe volunteering in the future to come out and kind of see what it's all about. And it's fun. You've got mm -hmm. Hannah Houston. What's planned, Carolyn? So you will be able to see the athletes march in. So it's a ceremony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's uh, lots of um, formality. And it is one of my favorite parts, actually, of the event because our athletes are front and center. Mm -hmm. We also have um, where we honor folks. We'll have the Omaha Police Department Pipe and Drum come in. We have a huge uh, partnership with law enforcement. They will run in the torch where they've been doing ceremonies across the state. Uh, they will light the flame of hope. We will have um, some awards given. We honor Coach of the Year. We will induct some folks into our Hall of Fame and our Torch Run Hall of Fame. And then we will hear from um, a speaker. 
and we will then hear from Hannah Houston, and there'll be, I believe, some dancing going on. It is I'm a sure. wonderful event. Yeah. You're seeing all those athletes out there partying, having a great mm -hmm. celebration to kick off these ceremonies. Rachel, you're an ambassador this year. What's your message for people out there? Um, just try your best every day. Um, don't give up when you feel down. Um. <laughs> Fan wonderful message, Rachel. Thank you very much. <laughs> Opening you. ceremony in the Hannah Houston concert. It is Thursday at Creighton University Sokol Auditorium. You can get free tickets at participating high V locations or you can go to sone.org. It's um, another one of those events where it's free, but you better get those tickets you gotta get if tickets. you want to make sure they you know get how many people in. are coming. We yeah. can't wait. Have a great time. Maybe Thank your band yes. can open for Hannah. No, one of these days. <laughs> I could only hope. Thanks for coming in. Have a great opening ceremony. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. All right.